Hi Leo, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Leo, sun, moon, or rising. And as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with Leo and the message could be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. And if you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below in the description box. Just go ahead and subscribe your email there. And that way you'll get a email notification when the availability opens up. Yep, we got to take them. And as always, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways that you've supported the channel. Happy Spring Equinox. I was getting really sick of my old backdrop. So here's our little difference. Okay. So Leo. Wow. Um, whew, this is really interesting combo. All of them popped out. So I can't even really focus on like which one was first. Cause it seemed like they all circled back around. Okay. Um, I feel as though there's definitely like this judgment is just as it says. Awakening, new ambition and purpose, healing and revelation. Okay, so I feel as though um, there could be an old energy resurfacing. It could come up in a person. Uh, for some of you guys, it could come up in your own emotions. Okay, because... This King of Cups feels a little bit key to everything, because, and you'll be able to tell. Because you guys know how I talk about the oral anal phase of development that we all go through as humans. That's how you can watch how something is affecting you. Because we have the moon, the emotions. The moon is things that are going on in your subconscious, things underneath the surface that are like... Your behaviors are respond to everything chemically inside of you so everything about your body responds to your environment right like your dna can change like your responses always can vary depending on environments right right right, right? what i'm trying to get at is that something could be going on in your environment that causes you to kind of go to a habit of yours right but in you, because you're trying to deal with your emotions and so for some of you guys we all know this right we've heard it a million times that there could be an avoidance because king of cups can be a lot of emotions it's a king it's tons of emotions and so some of you guys it could be that you're connecting with someone like it could be that you've got someone that you've either dealt with either currently or in the past. It could be drinking stuff. And I'm not shaming it in any way. That's not the purpose of this reading. It's talking about the this whole transformation that's going to come from this whole entanglement or this interaction. Because we have the death card, right? There's the profound change, destruction and renewal, a metamorphosis that will happen. And I feel like you guys are going to get kind of this wake up call over something that it could be past energy with the judgment. So it's, a, it's this really interesting way that the universe plays this game with us because sometimes you can go like old energies resurface and then you like go back and do some cleanup work and then you move forward, you know? It's not this linear path. It's like this crazy, like back and forth going through, okay, clean up this from the past and then I can move forward and that type of thing. Cause that could be the judgment card. Cause look, you've got the wheel turning. And I feel like what you guys are trying to do is you're trying to work with your transformation pretty powerfully with the death card. You could be trying to like dissolve there could be just this natural process happening anyway where an old version of yourself is completely falling away and you're coming into a new version of yourself and so you're like that's what's turning the wheel of your life in a completely different direction and so for some of you guys it could be someone here that's pivotal in that process like someone that's very it almost feels like leo like what i just heard someone might have a little bit of a nugget of transformation inside of this like king of cups like someone that you wouldn't think 
is kind of key to your transformation is going to be key to your transformation. They might not be the best. Like if this is a person, they might be cold and, you know, maybe dishonest or they like, they might not be the best of person, but I feel like that's, that's the nugget. There's something in there that's going to like turn the wheel. Dude. Oh, dude, dude, dude. Okay. 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 So isn't it interesting? I brought up the moon and the first card that popped out for you is the moon and the king of wands. There is your energy. All right. So I get the sense when it comes to like certain things, some of you guys might be feeling a little bit kind of this elusive energy with the moon. And also some of you guys could be feeling triggered by the moon. You might feel like I'll try not to get into the parasites because I know that probably bothers people a lot. But there could be something about moon cycles and, and something about that that's circling with the connection to the moons. But the moon always is the subconscious. And if you've been feeling a little bit kind of like you're not clear on things or things, it hasn't really seemed straight out when it comes to your confidence or maybe a creative passion for some of you guys that maybe you've been trying to work on, but confidence more than anything and anything that you've been connecting to what you take action on to bring you confidence. If you've been feeling like there's a little bit of off energy to that, it feels like it's connected to another person here. Okay. And I feel as though <laughs> Leo, for some reason I'm getting like, Someone here, like you had maybe a little bit more ego or fire the way that you handled a situation or something. It's very different. I feel as though this, like, that King of Cups, it could be a water sign. And we have Scorpio over here. It feels as though, like... How do I say this? Almost you overpowered in this situation and someone's over here. They're like literally pacifying themselves. That's what I'm getting here. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Okay. That's pretty freaking specific. Okay. So we have the lovers. Could be a Gemini in here. But this was, whether it was romance or not, don't even pay attention to that. The lovers is kind of saying that this is like a powerful kind of connection. You have two kings in here. So for some of you guys, don't get caught up on gender. It could be male or female. It's just like a maturing of those archetypes. So like, right? King of Wands is being very highly developed in passions, creativities, taking action, very confident. And King of Cups is like mature emotions. So that's what I feel like is being kind of worked with. It's like developing those areas and maturing them. And that's what's happening in this connection right now is bringing those two into some type of com like compatibility because that's what's going to turn the wheel in a different direction. Make sense? With the wheel of fortune, the wheel turns everything in a different way. Now, what's interesting is that you have the three and the four of swords. So there is some type of betrayal. Lovers is a choice. So there could have been something here about a choice was made and it brought some type of heartbreak. And it couldn't even it could have even been health issues, not gonna lie. And four of swords is where there's like a, trying to bring those pieces back together. Like if you went through a situation and um, it could have caused, like I said, three of swords. That can be heartbreak, betrayal, but it also can be like autoimmune disorder. It can be where it caused some type of a health reaction. Okay. And four of swords, try and heal quickly from that. So justice there's like a karma thing that's happening here some way let me grab another card this is a really interesting reading oh wow, wow, wow. so there's the queen of cups okay 
it feels as though someone in this connection, there was some injustice, okay? And it's... Uh, how do I, I have to say this. It's like karma is coming back around in some way, shape, or form because there was some injustice in a situation. And the universe always balances things out because believe it or not, like people have a conscience. And if like someone here and the connection feels like they were unjust and they didn't get to balance things out properly, it totally affects everything, how it's going to play out. Okay. So it's really, to me, this feels like righting a wrong or, you know, getting things being even and just in a situation is really big time playing out because it's it feels like leo it's time for something to turn in a more positive direction and it's like this just needs to kind of get taken care of in some way shape or form so it's almost like someone is either coming in to offer some type of emotional expression to you or vice versa you guys will know more than anyone what this is about but I'll dive into the extended. We'll see whatever else wants to come out. So Leo, if you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there. But Leo, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love, wishing you the very best, and I will see you in your next reading. Take care.